In this video, I'd like to help an Upwork newbie get their first job on Upwork. Hi, my name is David. And if this is your first time watching my video content, kindly consider subscribing if you get any value from what you watch. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I find that many people have an issue getting their first job on Upwork. They either end up giving up or they find that Upwork is quite competitive. But this step-by-step -step process is just a five-step process will guide you to getting your first job and potentially get you many more jobs. So if you're ready, just stay tuned and watch till the end. And I hope that you get value and start getting jobs on Upwork. So what's the five-step process? I like to consider it a funnel of sorts because we want to start with a broad category and navigate to a uh, category number one where we get to the application. So step number five, ensure that you have a complete and verified profile. This is one of the most crucial things that you'll always need. Whenever you have a complete and verified profile that has already done the Upwork readiness test, uh, that shows that you know what the, up, the, the Upwork platform entails, that is important. Secondly, you also need to have your skills highlighted clearly, a good title about what type of services you offer, a good photograph that shows you smiling, uh, that shows that you're easily approachable to clients and all that. A description about the service that you offer. What type of value are, going, are you going to be giving to different clients? That is something that is very, very important on Upwork. And also having samples or portfolio items on your profile can get you through the door of getting hired. And that is all about the profile. Just having it complete and having it verified. Having it verified actually shows that you're a genuine person and that you're real. So you're not faking who you are. Step number four, as we go down our funnel, is scouting or researching potential job openings. Now, the reason why I always consider this a good step towards getting your first job on Upwork is because if you don't research what type of job openings are available on Upwork, then you will not know what type of samples you're going to create to use to apply. Secondly, you won't know how much you're going to be charging or how much you need to charge the clients. That is very, very important. You will also not know the frequency. If you don't research, you will not know the frequency of the jobs you're looking for. But when you research, you're able to see these jobs are posted in this type of frequency. This is the kind of structure these clients need the jobs to be. So it is important you spend time scouting or researching potential job openings. Whatever job you're doing, it may be transcription, it may be captioning, it may be writing. There's always that particular standard uh, that happens. Jobs are either in the same style. Uh, that is one thing I can say. Different clients, but the style is the same. So ensure that you spend time scouting or researching potential job openings. Use the search functionality inside Upwork to do all this. And you're going to succeed because this is the step-by-step -step process that can work and that has worked for years. So that's step number four. Step number three, prepare relevant samples. The reason why I consider this step number three is because samples really show a client that you can do what you're saying you can do. And the reason why I'm saying this is because when you see a job posting that really resonates with your skills and also with the samples you have, chances of you getting hired improve drastically. Now, you've done your scouting and you've created relevant samples. These are the samples that you will use to apply. Remember, these are samples that you create from your own imagination based on the type of jobs that you've been seeing. And I hope that I'm making some sense here. The samples really show a client, especially if you're an Upwork newbie, that you can do what you're saying you can do because the samples are available as your backup. That is always something that works very well, especially if you're a newbie and you don't have any uh, feedback on your profile or anything of that sort. Now, 
we'll navigate to our second step. Our second step is you scout to apply. Remember we had to scout so that we can see the type of jobs available so that they can guide us on the samples to create. Now we need to scout to apply. When it comes to scouting for jobs on Upwork, it's potentially the same thing like scouting or researching to see the job openings available, how much people are paying, how much uh, uh, freelancers are willing or how much time it takes, the frequency and all that. But now we are ready with our relevant samples. What we need to do is scout to apply. Look for a job that resonates with the relevant samples that you've created. Now, the reason why I'm saying this, I'm saying this is because when you have a sample that really resonates with the job that you've seen, chances of you applying to that job and getting hired increase. Now, since you're a newbie, as you scout to apply, I don't like discouraging newbies to apply for uh, uh, jobs that uh, are going to pay a lot of money. You can always apply. But what I recommend is start small. And small is uh, really depends on where you're coming from. But what I always like to say is that small jobs and frequent jobs tend to put up your profile uh, above the fold. So if you're doing small jobs, the contract ends, client leaves you positive feedback and you do uh, some frequent jobs, then your profile starts being visible to potential clients and job invites starts trickling in. So you scout to apply with the relevant samples you've created and then we get to the application phase. You have to apply with relevant samples. So writing cover letters on Upwork is easy. All you have to remember is write like you're communicating or talking to someone. Hi, David. I'm writing to apply to your captioning job posting, my experience, and I have samples on captioning or open captioning attached below or from the link. You can, uh, you can uh, see if that's what you're looking for. I'm available to talk to you. If you're interested in working with me, just send me a message. Thanks. That's just a simple illustration or just explanation of a cover letter. It's just that simple. When you're writing a cover letter on Upwork, ensure that you apply or use relevant samples for the job posting you're applying for. You ensure that you've been following this particular process to a point where you're now in the application phase. You've, you have a complete and verified profile with all the juicy and meaty things in there. You've scouted or researched potential job openings You've prepared relevant samples and then you've already scouted for jobs to apply. And now once you're ready to apply, write a good cover letter, ensuring that if a client has asked questions in a particular uh, job posting, that the questions get some intense or attention because questions appear fast when you apply. If a client included questions in their job posting, then follow up with your cover letter and ensure that you always have your relevant sample, whether it is a link to a particular sample that you've mentioned, whether it is just an excerpt, let's say if it was a, a, an article you've written, and then you've attached the main article in the uh, application section, that's how you actually do your application. And if you follow this five-step process, I'm sure that you will not go without getting your first job or even if you're going through a hard time. For example, whenever I take a hairdress from Upwork, this is the same process I come back to use to apply. I ensure that my profile is complete and verified and updated with any new information that I've added over the years. And then I start scouting for job applications. What's available? What's new? Depending on what I've learned over the, a couple of months, how can I use it? Are there jobs? Is there any frequency in the jobs that are being posted? Now, how much are people charging? If there is a job that I've seen and maybe it had a hire, I'd like to see who was hired. How much did they charge? How does their profile look like? So that I can already start seeing who my competition is going to be whenever I see these job postings. 
and then I prepare relevant samples. These samples, I will not use them for the job openings I've seen right now. I'll use them for job postings that will be posted later on. And the reason for this is because whenever you create a sample, you're creating it not copying what clients post, but to the best of your imagination and knowledge and expertise so that it is content that you own. It is content that you can use without infringement of any copyrights or any sort. So once you prepare, you scout to apply. And once you're scouting, you're looking for, is this the job that I can use the sample I created, the portfolio that I created? Now, finally, you apply. That's just a five-step process. It wouldn't even take you more than a day or a week to master this. So master this process, and I believe you'll get your first job on Upwork. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope that you got value from this video. Stay tuned for more tips and tutorials like this. Kindly subscribe, and until next time, stay safe.